Hello, everyone, and welcome to this evening's coffee chat. My name is Katie, and I am going to be your moderate moderator tonight. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what you're going to learn today. So today, you are here to learn about Brunau's business undergraduate degree. So to walk you through those, you're going to meet some of Brunau's student support team. They're going to tell you what degrees we offer, what you will learn in them, and most importantly, why they're so important uh, in today's economy. Afterward, we're gonna have a live Q&A with those panelists. So if you take a look at the bottom of your screen, you will see a Q&A button. If you click that during the webinar, uh, you should be able to type in a question. And at the end of our coffee chat, our panelists will answer those questions for you. Speaking of which, let me introduce you to our presenters today. We are joined by Shay Lamson, Enrollment Manager here at Brunau, and Talise Clark, an Enrollment Coach. Between the two of them, these ladies have a, a, a more, more than two decades of higher education experience, so you are in good hands. Uh, they are experts in their craft, uh, and they can answer any questions that you have for them. So with that said, I am going to turn the time over to them, and they're going to take it away and teach you a little bit more about our business programs. All right. So welcome, welcome. I, I don't know what's going on with my video. There we go. I'm back. Hopefully I'm live. So First, we want to just go ahead and, and tell you welcome. Thank you for joining. We really appreciate you being here and would love to be able to go over some of the things that we're going to do. But what we're going to do today is, is talk a little bit about the BBA programs that we offer um, and some of the concentrations that we have. A Bachelor's of Science in Business is one in itself. It's an amazing bachelor's to be in. So having that business administration background can really solidify you in a working position. But we actually go a little further and we have a couple concentrations that are actually very, very sound in the uh, market world. And we have accounting, finan uh, financial economics, human resource management, marketing. And then we also have our bachelor's of science in healthcare administration, which is a booming, booming field. It's actually fantastic to be in if you can get your, get your foot in the door. And then if that's maybe not your cup of tea, maybe administration, we have our organizational leadership. And then to get you grounded, to get you started and get some of those basics out of the way, we have our liberal studies program. With Brunel, we have an online convenience and a real world application. By this, we get to complete our course coursework 100% online by taking only one to two classes at a time. And for most of them, they're seven to 14 weeks. So it allows you to juggle work, juggle family, school, and everything that your life involves. One great thing about the program is that what you learn today you can use tomorrow. So there's no need to wait until you graduate with your degree in order to get the best values from it. So we actively engage with instruction, the faculty in business, as well as the firsthand and the latest knowledge and greatest trends and tactics that are offered. Okay, so this is this is one of my favorite parts and perks that you get from Brunel is some of the personalized support that you have. There's a lot of universities out there. There's a lot of schools that you can attend. But some of the things that you'll have at Brunel are some personal attention to help you, not just um, in class, but really from the get-go, how to, how to come up with the plan, if you will, to get you all the way through enrollment and all the way until graduation. So we have our enrollment coaches, and they really are there to help prepare you with your application, let you know what you need, get you, getting your transcripts, your financial aid, your registration, all of those things pieced together, which can be very confusing. Um, and not only that, but they also help you prepare for that first day of class, which is kind of cool. We don't leave you hanging. And as soon as you start class, we transition you over to your amazing faculty, but you also have an additional support called a success coach. And your success coach regularly has conversations with you. They check in on your performance, how you're doing. They give you additional help and resources. They point you to the, the, the easiest and most convenient um, pathing to get the answers that you might need, which as a working adult comes in handy when you're busy, you're limited time, and you need some information really, really quickly. And that's what my team does. I, I help that team. I manage them. And we're really here to support you from the ground all the way to graduation. Along with 
all the resources that Shay mentioned, we also have our faculty members. We establish close relationships with our students with a nine to one ratio per faculty to student. We have smaller class sizes. And so normally our online classes are about 20 students or fewer. That allows you to get all the attention that you absolutely need. Uh, we have online resources to help raise your grades, the writing lab, tutoring, math center, and much more. By combining all of the resources that Bernal makes available to you, we call that your graduation team, because we make sure that you are successful, not only within the program, but beyond. Okay, so we're getting into the, the piece I, I love probably the absolute most here. It's the why, the why you go to school. And a lot of times you can have numerous reasons as to go to school, why you might want to go. But a lot of times it's going to correlate with what you want to do for the rest of your life, what type of career you want. The amazing thing about business is, is that you can see here, there's a 14.8 projected growth in business and financial um, operations jobs through 2028. That's a huge growth rate in this industry, in this area. And some of Georgia's hottest jobs out there. I mean, you can see we've got average salary ranges up to 71,000. That's the average of what someone in those positions is already making there in Georgia. And so although school could be scary, it can be hard, it can be time consuming, it can be costly. The idea is to get your get you the, the most reputable school name we can give you like for now and get you into a position where you can go take that next step and apply that job get in those positions to have that average salary range it's just it's such a great opportunity for you to have that degree and open so many doors but um i i love the two that he picked the financial analyst the business operations specialist you're seeing a ton of growth in the projected openings each year 4340 average salary range of about 71,000 financial an analyst average salary range 79,000 per year that's a game changer in a lot of positions that does put you into a much different range so we we love it we love it um and here's a few more human resource manager is a huge one projected openings coming up each year are about 570 in the georgia area Average salary range, 120,000. I mean, that's huge. That that could double some, some folks' uh, you know, salaries, make a make a big impact in your day-to-day -day life. You have marketing managers who were making about 136,000 per average. The the point in all of this, and really kind of to dive in is make sure that you understand what your degree can do for you. Your degree can open these doors and really kind of bridge that gap, get you in a position where you can be making what you're hoping to, and, and hopefully lead to a wonderful retirement, great nine to five jobs, jobs that have weekends off and holidays, a 401k, a retirement plan. The opportunity is there. There's a lot of growth in Georgia. We're seeing it right here, but we wanna make sure that you have the credentials that you need in order to get there. All of this information is pulled from our Georgia Department of Labor. Um, and so they, they do, they collect all the most recent data and this is what it looks like, it's fantastic. Pay special attention to that health service manager. We have our bachelor's of science in our health administration program that can help open the opportunity for some of those jobs. And as you can see, some of those positions make over a hundred thousand a year. Fantastic place to, to consider. Okay, so our next step, we actually have Stargates coming up right around the corner in October. It is not too late to apply, but there are some things that you want to make sure you do. First off, if you're interested, please call, email. We can get with you just as soon as possible. I have staff here um, and, and coaches at your you know availability all the way from 8 in the morning till about 9 p.m. at night. So we work around your schedule. That phone number is 888 860-4344. Don't delay. One of the requirements that's needed to start school is your transcripts. So we want to make sure your transcripts are here in a timely fashion so we can get you in and get you prepared for class. But don't delay. Don't procrastinate it. Honestly, school is never one of those things that we always just want to do when we love, but it's something that's needed. It opens up those doors. And every month you wait is just a month of opportunity that could be missed. So don't wait. Definitely make sure that you reach out and, and get in touch with us soon. All right. Thank you so much, Shay and Celise, for walking us through those programs. Now it is time for our Q&A session. 
Um, and it looks like we've already had some questions come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick this one over to uh, Talise. To least this person wants to know about financial aid. Is there financial aid available for people enrolling in the undergraduate business programs? There certainly can be financial aid available. You would just fill out the most recent FAFSA that's required for your particular start. So if you're looking to start our October course courses, you would fill out the 21-22 FAFSA. Within that FAFSA, there's several different sources of funding available for you. Um, based on your income and also where you live. So that FAFSA will determine what's available for you. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, now, Shay, I'm gonna throw this one to you. Uh, can you, since you walked us through the programs a little bit, can you describe the difference between the Bachelors of Business Administration and the Bachelors of Science and Organizational Leadership? I can. So whenever you're dealing with administration, you always want to think back end of the business side. You want to think um, more of maybe the finance or the economics um, of, of the pathing of the company. You're going to know more of that detailed accounting and some of the financial stuff that, that has to do with business. When you're dealing with organizational leadership, think forward. You're looking at people. You're dealing more with a person. You're dealing with uh, the structure of the company and maybe how to better utilize the organizational structure. Um, you could be looking at processes and how to make a company better. So I always think of it like this. Administration is on the backside. It's the stuff you don't necessarily always see. And the organizational leadership is usually the stuff that you may interact with on a day-to-day -day, like people or processes. Okay, great. Thank you very much. So speaking of people and processes, do you have any uh, concentrations that are available for people who want to move into a leadership position? Oh, absolutely. Any of the, the business administration programs are going to lead into some of that basic management type skill. And then we have additional concentrations that may help you get into a little bit of a niche of the market. So if you're you're wanting finance, if you're wanting, oh goodness, human resources, if you're wanting maybe marketing manager, I mean, there's a couple of different areas that are gonna that are gonna really steer you towards that. But really feel confident that even in the basic foundation of the the BBA as we call it, or the bachelors of of business administration, you are gonna get management type training. So we definitely have our human resource management, marketing management, health administration, and some of those health service management type positions, but you'll get a good foundation. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. And Talise, I'm going to send this one your way. This person wants to know, uh, this person states that they've already taken some college courses. Uh, can they transfer them to Brunel or do they need to retake those classes? No, they may not need to retake those classes. We're going to try to use everything we possibly can use for you. Um, Brunel is a regionally accredited university, so we only take other credits from regionally accredited schools. Um, however, if you do fall in that, we absolutely welcome your credits. Guess what? If you pass with a C or better, college algebra didn't change. <laughs> English didn't change. So we'll try to use everything we possibly can, but we need to get your application and your transcripts in so we can make that evaluation and get that answer for you. Um, I think it's also worth noting, Katie, or student who asked, um, that if you didn't attend a regionally accredited institute, there is a chance that we could still utilize some of those credits. However, it may come as like life learning experience or through a club testing type environment. So definitely still reach out. There might be opportunity for you to get college credit for what you've done. It just might not look as, as straightforward as a transfer. Oh, good note, Shay. Very good. Okay, great. Well, thank you both for, for those answers. I think those are all the questions that we had today. Uh, but before we let you go, one final reminder that classes are starting soon. Classes start, as we stated earlier, on October 18th, uh, which may seem far away, but really you only have, a I don't know, five or six weeks between now and then. Uh, so we do want to make sure that if you haven't submitted your application yet, you do so now. And if maybe you're in, you need a little bit of help getting that through, certainly call Shay and her team. They are available and willing to answer your questions. Give them a call at 888-860-4344, or you can write them an email and send it to success at ags.renow.edu. But again, thank you for all who attended, and we hope to see you in classes this October. Have a nice evening.